Hey guys, this is a video from Crypto Data. In this episode, I will explain you maybe one of the most important security features, security aspects. Creating your identity, identifying yourself with the blockchain and backing up the passphrase. Backing up the most important thing in any blockchain, wallet, device, app and so on. The mnemonic passphrase, the security recovery passphrase. This means you will be given a 24 words passphrase you have to write down on a piece of paper. Do not do it, do not save it on an electronic device. Do not save these words neither on a device, a smartphone, nor on a computer or an email. Please write it down with a pen and a paper and then you will have it securely stored somewhere where only you know. In this way, even if a hacker hacks your home computer, nobody can access your backup passphrase. First of all, you have to go to the vault. You will see that the vault asks you for permission. You have to give the permission to the vault. Then it does nothing. Why? Because I don't have a private key inserted into the device. Let's take the red one. I will be requested to have the red one for the first. The red, the red key is recommended to be the backup key you have to keep at home. In theory, you, have, you are given three keys in a box. One of them, the red one, is the backup key you have to store in a safe place where only you know so in case you need in case you lose one of the keys you can easily back up your device access the backup of your device by using the red key the other two keys is the user keys is the day-by-day -day usage key one of them can stay in a device another one is a spare let's say let's call it a spare so please pay attention to the step to this step configuring the vault and then everything will be safe and smooth. Let's go. Have to start. I am given 24 words in a certain order. Please make sure you have by your side a pen and a paper. Not a computer and not old fashioned. You need a pen and a paper. Please write down the 24 words in a given order. Please do not mix the order otherwise you will not be able to back up your device. Now my words are safely stored on a paper and confirmed onto the device. The next step is to create a local password. The local password will give me the access to the vault on my device. The local password has nothing to do with the blockchain. The local password only encrypts the vault on your device. Let's set up a password. Uh, as soon as I uh, save the password and confirm it, the device will register to the blockchain. Please note it may take a few seconds. As soon as the device is registered on the blockchain, I am prompted to remove the red key. Let's see what happens if I remove it. I just removed the red key. I safely store it somewhere at home and I am prompted to insert the normal key. So the user key, this one. I inserted the normal key. The device is saving the normal key, the day-by-day -day usage key, everything is good, I just have to click next. The key is now saved and the device shows its complete step. Everything is good, for the authentication in the vault I have to use my previously saved password, my previously, let's say, configured password, and I have access into my vault. In the vault, I have the home screen with the cryptocurrency assets. I have the wallets, the cryptocurrency wallets, and then I have the identities, the matrix identities. How do I create one? Simply click on the lower right corner on the plus. You will be asked for some details. Create a matrix identity, a display name. Let's say it is Ovidio Test. A matrix identity. Matrix identity can be any alphanumerical identity you wish of course unique of course if it's already registered you'll not be able to register a new one basically this is the short version of your blockchain wallet let's say my matrix identity is ovidu one two three four five i need to create a password and i need to confirm the password 
I submit and now I have a matrix identity called Ovidio test. Let's do a new one <clears throat> to see how it works if we have two of them. Test Ovidio. Matrix identity is test Ovidio. And I have to define a password. Submit. Now I have two matrix identities defined. How do I swap between them? Simply swipe left or swipe right. This is how I swipe between my matrix identities. You will notice a QR code on the screen. This QR code is the one way of sharing your business card. This QR code is a way where somebody else can scan and get your business contact. Can get your, your WISP contact or your blockchain contact, let's say so. This is all for this episode. Now we've created the vault. Please note again, do not disclose to nobody the 24 words mnemonic passphrase you just saved on a piece of paper. Please make sure you do not save these words electronically. Yep, as long as you follow these steps, everything is cool and safe. Thanks for watching, see you in the next episode.